Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking again about mechanical keyboards. Unlike my previous videos where we discuss do-it-yourself options, today we'll focus on a commercial grade product by Hewlett Packard. This is HP Omen Encoder Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. I have been using it for a couple of days and now I would like to do a quick unboxing and review of this gorgeous mechanical keyboard. We'll discuss the advantages but also the disadvantages. So at the end of the video you have enough information to make a decision whether to buy HP Omen Encoder keyboard or not to buy it. This model is available with Cherry MX red or brown switches. This particular device is with Cherry MX brown switches. As you can see, it has a backlit and an LED for each key. It's a full-size keyboard with one additional key for the Omen control center. Let's start with a quick unboxing of the HP Omen Encoder Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. It comes in a cardboard box which has the same colors as the keyboards itself. The primary color is black, there are certain elements in red and white. The dimensions of the keyboard are 44.5 by 14.5 by 3.8 centimeters. The weight is nearly 1 kilogram, so this is definitely not a lightweight keyboard. It's a very solid product, which after you put on the desk stays there, perfect for gaming. In the box you find of course the keyboard, as well as safety guidelines and getting started notes which contain instructions how to download the Omen Command Center on Windows. The Omen Encoder keyboard is available with Cherry MX switches. There are two variants of the model, one with red Cherry MX switches and another one with brown Cherry MX switches. This particular model is with the brown Cherry MX switches. On the back of the keyboard you see the two adjustable legs. This allows you to modify the height of this mechanical keyboard. You will also notice the product label on the back of the keyboard. It says that the product is made in China. The HP Omen Encoder keyboard offers 100% anti-ghosting with full and key rollover. The Cherry MX switches endure more than 50 million keystrokes. Yes, you heard it right, 50 million keystrokes. There is a per key LED backlit. Um, on the majority of the keys there is a red LED, but on the red keys, which are actually just four keys, the LED is white. Each of the LEDs is addressable, therefore we can have some cool animations with this keyboard. As you can see during the video, it is with English keyboard layout. The HP Omen Encoder Mechanical Keyboard is compatible with Microsoft Windows operating systems including Microsoft Windows 10 and 11. It is also compatible with Xbox. Yes, you can use the keyboard on Linux devices, however, the application for controlling the gaming experience with this keyboard is available only for Microsoft Windows, therefore, if you are a Linux user like me, you cannot get the full potential of this keyboard on your system. Now comes the moment you have been all waiting for. Yes, absolutely. If there is a video about mechanical keyboards, it's mandatory to do a sound test. Let's take a moment and enjoy the sound of the Cherry MX Brown switches. Using built-in uh, keyboard shortcuts, it's possible to control the brightness and the animations on the HP Omen Encoder mechanical keyboard. Press simultaneously the FN key with the up or down arrow to increase or decrease the brightness of the backlit of the keyboard. 
there are also six animations which can be activated with the built-in keyboard shortcuts. Press the FN key and 1 to enable or disable the keyboard backlit. The second animation is the so-called breathing effect. This means that the LEDs will start boosting from low to high brightness. Press simultaneously FN and 2 to enable this effect. The third and the fourth animations are quite similar. These are type of waves. Press FN and 3 to enable a, a wave from left to right and FN plus 4 for a, for a wave from right to left. Now comes a really interesting effect. Press FN plus 5 to enable the blacklit only on the keys which are pressed, which will result into activating the keys around the press keys as well. This is really cool for activities where you don't type very intensively. The last animation can be activated by pressing simultaneously FN and 6. This effect allows brightness only on the gaming keys, which are the arrows as well as the A, S, D and W keys. HP Omen Encoder is a great mechanical keyboard, but let's discuss in more details the advantages and the disadvantages. Let's start with the advantages. The first thing that we should point out that HP Omen Encoder is using Cherry MX switches. Cherry is the gold standard speaking about mechanical switches for mechanical keyboards. Another advantage is the great, uh, the great quality of the keycap on each key. Furthermore, each key has an LED. You can control the LEDs and uh, each LED is addressable, which means that the keyboard supports animations. Let's turn on one of the animations again. Previously in the video, you've seen uh, all the animations. Here is another one. So, this is definitely cool because you can have this keyboard as part of your furniture in your room to create nice atmosphere while you're playing or while you're just uh, chilling out next to the keyboard. Another advantage is uh, that this is a full-size keyboard. You also have the numpad over here. There are nice legs, which means that you can adjust the height of the keyboard. This is uh, really convenient in certain cases. There we go. But of course, the HP Omen Encoder keyboard has some disadvantages as well. The first major disadvantage, especially for me, is the HP Omen Gaming Hub and control center application which is available only for Windows users. I'm a Linux user, I have been using Linux for decades now and for me it's very important to have everything available for configuration under Linux. Unfortunately this is not the case with HP Omen and Color Keyboard, not at right now. Hopefully in future things might change. Another disadvantage is that it, uh, this keyboard, as of the moment, is not supported by quantum mechanical keyboard firmware. This is the most popular open source uh, firmware keyboard for um, uh, firmware for mechanical keyboards out there. Uh, this is something that I would like to see changed in the future as well. I have to say that despite this, uh, these two disadvantages, I can still control uh, the animations and the LED brightness from some um, um, keyboard uh, shortcuts that are built in with the original firmware. Another disadvantage is that uh, the LEDs uh, have single color. The majority of the keys are with uh, red color. Here we go. 
the majority of the keys are red, the gaming uh, keys are with uh, uh, red keycaps and white LEDs. Uh, this is a disadvantage because some of the other uh, keyboards on the market have an RGB lightning where you can have um, uh, different colors, you can do a rainbow um, uh, on your keyboard. This is something that's not possible with this uh, keyboard. Uh, I have also uh, to note that this is um, a very solid keyboard, actually this is advantage, but the disadvantage is that it's quite big and um, a little bit heavier, so it's uh, not something that I would expect anyone to put in a backpack and carry around um, every day. But yeah, if you just need to move it from time to time, of course, it will fit your backpack. So the bottom line is that HP Omen Encoder Mechanical Keyboard is an awesome device, awesome mechanical keyboard. Obviously, it's done specifically for gaming and uh, it's most appropriate for people who are uh, playing games intensively. It's also useful for people like me. Uh, as part of my day job, I'm a developer and I like to uh, have a nice keyboard under my fingers. Another advantage is the price because um, uh, HP Omen Encoder Keyboard is relatively affordable considering all the advantages that it has. So I definitely recommend you using such a keyboard and I have to say that I'm happy using it, it although I'm obviously a new user, it's uh, something that I enjoy using. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.